Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Nail done, hair done, everything did. Hi, this is Chastity from the Curvy Girls Guide to Style. I'm actually doing a video post on a product review, the um, Dior Air Flash. It's like a spray on foundation. What do you do with this is, um, it's just a spray can, like an aerosol can, and you shake it up. You might get a hair little thingy inside. And you can either, you see it's a spray here, you can either spray it in a Z fashion, or you can spray it on your brush. So... I spray mine on my brush. So I'm going to do a quick application of the um, Dior Air Flash. And all I do is just shake it up. As I said before, I just apply it to the brush. So I'd usually do a couple of squirts. And what you do is you just go over your face like you would do kind of a powder foundation. Um, the finish is really light. You don't really feel the heaviness of like the liquid because it almost dries um, into a powder kind of finish. The only thing I can say is like a con of the product is that they don't really offer um, options if you're a darker skinned they have about six or seven different options for different um light different lighter skin so let's say i would let's say that this is 400 i think it's called honey there's three other shades in front of this one and i think maybe two other fair skin shades after this one that are a little bit darker and then there are two dark skin shades or brown skin shades and to me I saw a couple of the other girls who had a darker skin tone a skin color apply it and I thought it made um it gave like an orange look like a very like orangish orangey kind of look and I didn't think it looked natural as opposed to the lighter shades but I don't know I mean I would go to the counter and check it out to see, to just um, do the tester to see if it would be something that could work for you because sometimes the undertones in your skin can kind of clash or they could work. So, um, but I would kind of shout out to Dior that y'all need to do a better a better job with like like darker skin cone, tones as far as like African American skin. The well, product pros of the Christian Dior Air Flash are. Um, I thought they would gave great coverage. Um, I was in a group of, you know, ladies. It, it was like a bloggers, you know, bloggers meetup. And a lot of the girls who had, like, rosation without foundation, you could see that it really covered it up. You really couldn't tell that there was any, like, ro rosation. So, like, any, like, uneven skin tones, discoloration, even though the foundation doesn't feel heavy, it actually gives pretty good coverage. Um, the other pro is that it's really quick to put on. It actually gives me a small, a slight tan, which is nice because um, right now I'm coming off the winter and I'm a little brighter than usual. So it actually can act as a, um, I don't want to say a tanner, but what do they call it? Oh, a tint. It acts as a tint. Um, I would definitely recommend the product. It, you know, if you can find a shade that goes with your skin skin tone and you know looks great, then I would definitely recommend it. Um, again, I think it was sixty dollars at the Dior counter from Dillard's. I'm gonna finish the look in the next. So I want to go and complete the look. I'm gonna just do a quick blush. Um, uh, Chanel Pink Explosion number 64. It's just very like pink, very cute. Um, so I'm gonna apply. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go to the the eyeshadow. Um, this is Estee Lauder. Um, my sister gave it to me, my younger sister gave it to me for Christmas. And it has like 
multiple shades inside. Um, Estee Lauder has pretty good color pigmentation as far as their eyeshadows are concerned. And they're still, I guess, not as um, pigmented as MAC, but still really nice. So, I want to do a quick, I'm using um, Ameth Amethyst Spark Shimmer, which is a really dark navy blue shimmery, um, shimmery eyeshadow. And on top, I'm going to use the Sugar Biscuit Satin, which has a slight shimmer in it also. On the top lid, lid just to highlight. Also, this also came in, it was like a Christmas set that my sister gave to me. Um, it's like double lip gloss um, coloring thing. Um, Estee Lauder also has really nice um, lipsticks. And the lips call, and the lip gloss, they're not tacky or anything like that. As far as the texture. So if you will see, um, that's a quick, I would say it probably took me maybe seven, five to seven minutes to complete the entire some mascara. I'm going to use the Maybelline Falsies Volume Mascara. Trying to poke myself in the eye. Um, so that's it for the um for the makeup routine. Say go Cinderella, go Cinderella, orgasm blush, lipstick, gig a cella, devil in a tight dress, girl, you a killer. Well, coming in May, I'm gonna be listed on uh, top bloggers for Dallas in D magazine, which is like the major uh, city magazine in Dallas. So that's going to come out, I think it's like May 6th or something. Um, I'm going to be a speaker at Chic Fest in Dallas. It's at a loft, um, a loft hotels in the city at, on Saturday, April 2nd. I think the event starts at like 10 o'clock. It's going to have like fashion vendors. A new thing that I'm doing is I'm actually a stylist for Fashion 101 Plus. They basically shop for women on a monthly basis like an online um you get like an online re piece seven piece recommendation every month and um the that side is actually geared towards older women which is cool because um most of the styling that I've done is for people around my age or a little bit younger or maybe maybe five years older than me so it kind of took me out of my comfort zone and kind of had to make me think like if I was 45, 50, what would I wear, that kind of thing. So, um, Fashion One, it's uh, called fashion101plus.com. Um, I'm nearing um, 1,000 followers for the blog um, via Google Friend Finder, which is awesome. Yay! I'm so lame. But, um, <laughs> but I'm excited about that, and I'm working on a few things, um, for that um, event because I'm, I'm super stoked about that. I went to Atlanta recently and I shopped um, with Jabri. Um, bought a lot of stuff. I brought back a lot of stuff. And um, I'll be doing, um, she actually let me in her secret lair. So um, I'll actually be doing a vlog on that. Um, I think she probably was like, I guess I might as well let her in. She buys like everything that I have. So. I'm excited about that. Um, I actually got some other stuff from like Nordstrom and whatnot, but um, I actually did a lot of shopping in the last couple of weeks, so I'm excited. I've kind of been on like shoppers um, restriction because I'm getting married. I'm excited about that. Yay! Lame again. Uh, oh, I went to the Austin Dallas Bloggers thing, and I'm actually currently like a, a member of the DFW Bloggers group. So if you're a blogger, and you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, look that information up. It's called DFW Bloggers think dot spaz dot com. And if you can't find it, email me and I'll email you the link. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Oh, you fancy, huh? Girls, let me see your hands. Wave them at them bitches hating on you with their friends. Girl, you got it. Let them know that everything big. Nailed done.